for you guys? This is Rob from Gay Guy Plays, and today on Dress to Kill, we're going to be taking a look at the Twitch exclusive Vault Prominence Bundle. Now, I'm going to be completely honest with you, I've been feeling a little bit under the weather, so we're not going to do any crazy splash art or anything like that. However, I do want to show you some tips and tricks on how to handle the new Vault Prominence skin. But first and foremost, I did want to go ahead and show you exactly how to pick it up because there were some questions about it. Alright, so let's go ahead and jump right into, is this, how am I going to do this? Is this how this works? There you go. <laughs> so as you can see right now, I've actually jumped to my Twitch channel, uh, twitch.tv backslash a gay guy plays. And then what you can do is as I'm broadcasting, you can kind of scroll down and you can see these little things right here and you can go ahead and pick up different items. Now, of course, there's all of these um, platinum bundles and whatnot. And I'm going to be honest with you, yeah, probably not the greatest way to spend your um, cash. But you will be able to pick up the Volt PC Prominence. It's called the PC Prominence Bundle 2. Now in this, you get the Volt Prominence skin, which is actually pretty gosh darn good. The um, Tigra skin, which... And then there is also the um, sigil that goes along with that too, which is a little... But it does come with 150 plat. Now, for those of you guys who don't know, in the Warframe market, um, $9.99 actually gets you 170 plat. Here, it gets you um, 150 plat, but it also gets you three different cosmetic items, one of them being the Volt uh, Prominent Skin, which I think is pretty gosh darn good. So it's kind of like you give up 20 plat, and then you get all of these additional cosmetics. So let's go ahead and jump back into a little bit of Warframe. So as you can see right now, I had to do like a classic, uh, I had to do a classic styling with uh, Volt uh, with the Prominence Bundle. And here I'm using his um, ar his uh, Volt Prime Arms uh, attachments and I think it looks pretty gosh darn good, I'm gonna be honest with you. Now we did review this on our quick look, but I did wanna kind of highlight some of the differences. Number one, the Volt Prime, the original Volt, doesn't have these, but you know what, let's just bust out the original vault. Let's bust out the original vault and take a look. So as you can see, he doesn't have some of the same facial structures. He doesn't have um, the little lights on his chin, or the little lights on his mouth, and then he doesn't have the metallics that run across his face. And I'm gonna be honest with you, those metallics actually add a lot um, to the skin because you can, you can use a lot more additional like cosmetics onto it. So kind of like the shoulder pieces, like, like the, um, if we were just to use the original Volt skin, the shoulders of the Volt Prime armor would not look as nice with it. But as you can see here, it's just a really bland kind of Volt chest, right? But here we've got some metallics that go along with it, some better detailing on the back. As you can see right here, we've got additional lights and we've got some metallics busted in there as well. And as you can see, it's got some additional back lights too. So DE really kind of did go above and beyond. They didn't just toss like a different um, patterning on the skin. They actually went out and did extra work on it. The helmet looks sick too because even the back end of it has those uh, metallic detailings and some lighting details and I honestly think it looks way better than the original skin. So if you're a fan of the original skin, this is a nice take on it as opposed to, you know, maybe if you just need a change from the Volt Prime skin or the Volt Zenner skin, and I'm gonna be completely honest with you, all of those skins are amazing looking. However, this is something to add into your arsenal just in case you're feeling a little nostalgic for old Volt, um, but not necessarily like old, old style Volt. So let's go ahead and take a look at what I've done here. There are two different ways that I actually like to style the skin. Um, I like to either do a dark secondary or I like to do a light secondary. And that's gonna make a little bit more sense when we kind of go into the customizations of it. So as you can see here, we've got that from the dojo. We've got this from the classic right here. We've got a little dark chocolate. And this is what I'm talking about because this piece right here uh, controls the under, kind of like the under section and sometimes I like to keep that dark to kind of give shadow and then let the rest of the patterning pop out, right? I love less of the, um, let that kind of stuff stand out. And then of course, you know, we got a nice tertiary, which is kind of like the accent color. I like using this as kind of like um, a little bit of a darker tone because it's great at edging out the, um, the edges of the patterns. And I kind of like to keep either the primary really, really dark or, oh no, 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 no. It is, the primary is always the lightest from the way that I've done it. 
Um, the secondary is either the darkest or the tertiary is the darkest. It's always one of those. And of course, we've got accents, which is the metallic. I don't know if I showed you guys that one, just to make sure. <laughs> um, accents, which of course, this is the rose gold. I wanted to kind of do this as like the classic version of something that I would do. It's like the classic raw version. And then of course, um, the energy color, which is... And the energy color actually plays a lot more... Um, plays a lot more into the actual skin itself here because you have more parts and pieces and you'll actually see that in the second variant of this skin so you can see I'm a big fan of this and this is basically like how I would go ahead and style this one thing that I kind of no let's save that for the end and let's go ahead and move into the second look um, because there's a lot to talk about with the second look and I'm gonna be honest with you um, this look right over here not exact like I, w I wanted to jazz it up with a little bit of color so I went ahead and added in the um, the violet honestly if I was to do something this dark I might bring it into um, I might bring it into uh, some dark grays just to kind of keep it simple almost kind of like a volt prime with two different like dark pieces but I did want to kind of share this with you because I love red electricity and it maybe came from back in the days when I played City of Heroes but I'm a big big fan of it um, so as you can see here I'm actually using the prominent sigil and I wasn't using the prominent sigil on the first one and I'll show you the reason why in a second um, but as you can see that energy color definitely comes into play one of the things that I want to show you the reason that I actually initially did this one um, before I go and show you the colors is because I loved the way it looked on the bolt shoulder armor and maybe we'll take it back maybe we'll take it back and take a look at it that way real quick um, because I did really like the red energy on the inside rimming of this and that's one of the things that like kind of comes this oh, I really really like uh, those energy uh, the energy panels off of those I thought that they looked so badass but of course, we are here with the Edo Prime armor, so we kind of want to embrace the entire set. We want to make him look very, very electrical. Um, let's go ahead and toss that Edo back in on there. And uh, let me show you the colors. So this one is actually very, very simple. Like I was saying in the last one, you're either going to have your secondary, the darkest, or you're going to have the tertiary, the darkest. So as you can see here, I actually went for a lighter secondary. Let me show you these colors real fast. So there's that one. We went for the second darkest in Storm and that violet. And then we went for uh, um, classic saturated. We want to give it a little oomph, but we'll get into discussion on customization with that in a little bit. Um, but as you can see here, we went for the second darkest in Storm from the second lightest to the second darkest. And then we just picked out a kind of like a warm metallic to go along with it. And then we toss on that bright red energy color, which as you guys know, is the energy color that I use on Loki. <clears throat> now, let's go ahead and talk about the color selections real fast. So as you can see here, the thing that I wanted, the reason why I wanted to show this to you is because um, with a lighter secondary, you can do some pretty jazzy things. I know that sounds cheesy. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you some of the different options that I actually played around with. because. Let's just say I was going to make it all gray. Let's just say I was going to make the whole thing gray, like dark gray and another version, and a darker version of gray. One of the ways that you could jazz it up, and I was kind of like, I was like, maybe let's make this look a little bit more schnazzy. Let's see, let's see how we can make it a little bit brighter, a little bit cooler. And I was like, ah, uh, but Rob, you can't always do it. So as you can see here, I'm in the Easter palette. But take a look at what, wait, but, but I'm, I'm, I'm in the wrong panel. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, by the way, I was wrong. That's actually the lightest. I was lying to you guys. <laughs> Secondary. Um, and let's go into the Easter palette real fast. But as you can see here, you can actually snazz this up a little bit by adding in like some under under colors. Now that one's a little too bright for me. But as you can see, kind of moving through these, you can add a little bit like a splash of a splash of tonality when it comes into some of these things. Um, to brighten up something that's maybe a little bit dark. Now, here's the thing I'm gonna point out. If it was all black, if it was like a dark, uh, dark gray, and then like black as the the tertiary color, and you tossed on like this kind of like electric blue underneath, that would create a really, really nice pop. And it's almost like a cool way of making it a little bit tronish without getting a little too crazy with it. So that's one of the things that I really liked. However, I kind of had to, kind of had to be like Rob. 
you know, don't go too crazy with it. Otherwise, people are going to be like, that's not a ROM customization. However, what I did want to show you is another option. So this is what I was talking about is layering two different colors. Actually, let's start with this one. Um, one of the things that I actually wanted to show you is I wanted to go into here. So you can actually see how you can have two contrasting colors, but because of the fact that they're similar, um, similar levels of intensity, like it's not so ridiculously in your face. And I think that that's a really cool way to kind of like customize it. You can even go into the reds to like bring it out. They're like two close tones. Um, you can swing it one way or the other, which I really, really like. But the one thing that I did want to point out here, and I'm actually just going to go. So here's my, um, here's my purple. We're gonna go up one notch, and then we're gonna go into the blue, and we're gonna go, you see, so here's my purple, we're gonna go up one notch. And then we can get a cool blue tone. And this, the same thing is, you can do the exact same thing if you were doing great, to kind of have two of those colors and then have an offset color as your secondary, and then do weird, crazy things with that. See, you can, I mean, I'm not gonna use crazy bright colors, but let's go back into that Easter palette, and you can see that you can have a really, really cool look with it, Still giving it a little bit tonality, not too crazy. Now, let's go ahead. I'm just going to leave it like that for now. Um, and we're going to go ahead. I'm going to take the chest piece off. And I'm going to show you the prominent sigil. All right? So one of the things that I want you to take note of is the prominent sigil looks absolutely fantastic um, when you have intense colors. Right? We've got these really intense, saturated colors. However, if you were to use a little bit of a lighter tone, so here's, it looks cool now, right? It looks cool now, we're, we're good with that. But let's say I wanted to kind of like shear it out, you could definitely see the purple in there. Um, now, of course, if you pick this up, one of the things you could do is just put in a really, really intense tone, and it becomes very hard to kind of like see that purple. Blues work really, really well in there as well. Um, some other tones like greens don't really work as well. Or what you could do is you could also drop it all the way down to the darkest, and you won't really be able to see it as much. So that's a, that's one of the ways that you can kind of work with the fact that it has that purple tone kind of built in. It still looks kind of cool when you go in for the darkest tone, but legitimately, um, I think that, you know, you kind of got to kind of work around with it sometimes. I'm just lucky that this uh, specific tone of red was just so intense that it overpowered some of that purple and it just kind of made it look like a gray in the background. Um, one of the other things that I do want to point out, and I think it, it looks really, really cool with the actual Volt skin, so that is fantastic. However, one of the things that I want to point out here is another another issue with the province. I'm not trying to, listen, I'm not trying to read you for Phil, you know, I'm not trying to drag him, but I do want to kind of teach you guys how to play around with it if you do pick it up. You know, buyer beware, we make sure that you guys are all taken care of and know what you're getting into beforehand. LMNOP, where is that? Um, I kind of like a part of me wishes they hadn't done it this way, but we're gonna equip that on there um, Now as you can see I actually played around with this a little bit because I wanted to see if I could make it work for this specific skin And it kind of does however one of the things that I do need to point out is as you can see There is some background purple hiding in there and that triggered my OCD and I was like I can't do it I can see the purple the purple is not supposed to be there. Why is the purple there? It's so hard. It's so hard. So I decided, you know, this is going to be a classic Rob look. And of course, a classic Rob look would not be classic Rob without a little bit of that unity sigil in there, right? So a part of me is like, you know what? Let's just, let's, let's commit. Let's commit. Let's commit. Let's commit. Um, so one of the last things that I want to do, and I'm going to have to change this back to the old color setting, um, is show you a couple different ways that you can kind of play around with some of the attachments. As you guys saw, I like the Volt attachments on this, but one of the other sets that I was actually a really, really big fan of is actually the Syrinx on this thing. Now, you do have to do a little bit of, a little bit more customization with it uh, to kind of like make it look right, but the Syrinx is pretty fucking fantastic. Like, it, it just fits so obnoxiously well with this. That a part of me is like, I don't know, are you trying to cross promote DE? Because it looks good. Now, the way that I would actually do this is I would um, make the center, make the center super dark. Because that's the issue with the Serenx sometimes is um, it can be, there's like too much patterning. Channel. So I almost drop it down to something it like that level. To make it, yeah, probably go like this. And then I would probably do like the darkest as the outer tone or something like that. And then have this be like the, the what is it called? 
the light, the kind of light details, something along the lines of that, just so that it's not so intensely crazy. Um, but I did want to point out, because, you know, that's definitely one of the armor sets that I thought worked really, really well for it. Even the um, waist pieces were not bad at all. I was like, oh, I can do that. I can totally do that. I think he looks pretty cool. Pretty, pretty fucking sick. And then the metallics, of course, tie in. Um, so that's definitely one of the things that I would highly suggest for that if you want to play around with the Volt skin. Um, the one last thing that I did want to do is because the Volt Proto skin just came out. So this is my current customization for it. I did tweak it from the original one, so I might as well go ahead and show you show you what the, what that came out to be. Um, because I wanted to combine a couple of different looks together to kind of like make my own Frankenstein look. Uh, so this is, that's my current setup right there. Let's see, you guys can see everything, right? Yeah, you guys can see everything. And then that's the energy color. But the one thing that I wanted to do is I wanted to actually toss the prominence helm on there because it actually looks pretty good like I have to say it doesn't look half bad with it and because of the fact that it does have those metallics it kind of carries through to the helm so you know if you like to Frankenstein your pieces feel free me personally I like to kind of keep a whole set together um, but that's just my feelings now I want to show you real fast the last thing is uh, the Tigris skin um, as you guys knew from my initial kind of like stance on it I was like ah, it's all right it's not necessarily the greatest in the world. I did have to point out one thing for the, those of you guys who want to customize this, um, is that the metallic is actually going to be on the tertiary portion instead of the accent portion. Don't ask me why. That's just where it is. That's just where it ended up. Um, so at least you know that that's where that is. So if you're having any frustrations, um, be aware of that and then I'm gonna go ahead and swap it on over to the other Volt Prime. Uh, I like the skin I don't think it's the greatest thing that DE has ever made, but I mean it fits with the prominent stuff um, And it's I mean it's another alternate look for the Tigris. So if you're not feeling the over the I won't say the over but like the really ornate look of the Tigris Prime This is definitely a variation that you can play around with so hopefully that helped you figure out whether you wanted to pick up the Prominence Skin Prominence Skin 2 bundle. It's the Prominence 2 bundle. Keep that in mind. It's Prominence 2, not Prominence 1. The first Prominence was the one with Excalibur, um, Ankeros, and the Twitch palette. So keep that in mind if you guys want to check that out. I'll go ahead and link that video um, in the description. But aside from that, that's pretty much it. I hope that helped you figure out whether you wanted to go ahead and play around um, with the prominent skin if it is something for you if you want I'll go ahead and leave a link to my twitch channel um, If you guys wanted to go and pick that up do be aware if you do love any of the other Twitch streamers the partnered twitch streamers out there and keep in mind It's got to be a partnered twitch streamer um, Because you know it doesn't get it doesn't help out any of them otherwise um, but yeah, so if you like any other partnered twitch streamers you can go ahead and support them by picking up the bundle as well however, I'll be a link I'll be, I'll be a link. I'll be leaving a link in my description box on my Twitch page just in case you guys do want to pick it up. Um, but that pretty much does it. I think, I think it looks good. I love this customization. I love this customization, especially because it's got that like warm depth in the little crevasses. <laughs> Regardless, um, hope that helped out. And as always, love somebody, hurt nobody, and touch your body. I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.